Uh, our next contestant, of course, has a very familiar name to most of us, if not all of us in the room. Uh, contestant number five, better known as Henry Barfoot. Would you welcome him, please? What a crowd. And may I say, I'm not surprised. That surely reflects the quality of our ALF offering today at Nine Dyna Drive, Linfield. A superb property, proudly marketed by Tony Lockhart from the Barfoot & Thompson Okura office. That's one of our newer branches. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Henry Barfoot. I'm proud to welcome you um, here on behalf of Barfoot and Thompson um, and our vendors, um, and very proud to be marketing or to, to, to be representing this property here today. Um, now, just to make sure you're all in the right room, we are here for Nine Diner Drive, Linfield. This is a property legally described as, as an estate in fee simple, a land area of 733 square metres, more or less. Uh, lot 6, the positive plan 35029, uh, certificate title 3C578. Are you all in the right place? Yes. Thanks for coming here today. Now, I'm sure that you are familiar with the contract. Um, channels today are as per the contract. Settlement date is 14th of August 2014. Um, there's nothing scary about today. The beauty of an option is the simplicity. You are bidding on a cash unconditional basis. I must remind you, this is a real property. You're bidding with real money. There are a few things to cover off. You should be familiar with all the legal documents for the auction and have taken appropriate legal advice. You should have been given a copy of the REA, REAA Sign and Purchase Guide by your salesperson, if not, we have copies here in the room. We also have copies of the REINZ Best Practice Auction Guide which of course, of course we shall be adhering to. I will now cover off the conduct of the auction at the end of which will be an opportunity to ask questions. If after questions you're unsure about any aspect of the auction, I'd recommend you refrain from that. Now the property is offered for sale today subject to a very reasonable reserve price. And subject to that price being met, the highest bidder shall come and purchase it. I may nominate the sum by which bidding may be raised, and I may refuse any bid. The vendor reserves the right to withdraw the property at any time up until, up until sale without disclosing the reserve price. I may place the vendor bid on behalf of the owner. I shall do so reluctantly, and I shall be very clear I'm doing so. If a dispute arises concerning any bid, I'll either re-offer the property at the last undisputed but it will simply determine the dispute, and my judgment shall be final. The lucky purchaser today shall do for me three things on completion of the auction. Firstly, sign a memorandum of contract. That includes an acknowledgement that you've been handed the REAA sign and purchase guide. You will also complete the GST schedule one in the contract. And thirdly, you will pay a deposit of 10% of the purchase price, being part of payment of the full price. Now, ladies and gentlemen, any questions before we start our auction? Not that I'm likely to, but if for some reason I change my mind, can I withdraw my bid during the auction? So the question is if you can change your mind after placing the bid during the auction. Yes. The answer to that is no. Every bid once placed can't be withdrawn. So please be sure you bid. Please be sure before you bid. Thank you. Any further questions? Ladies and gentlemen, the title today, Fee Simple, Freehold, Indefeasible. There's some fancy words, but this is the ultimate form of land ownership in New Zealand. And for you guys here today, a chance to own it. A title that cannot be annulled or rendered void. In layman's terms, nobody's going to mess with it. If you buy this property today, it is yours to keep and enjoy. And what a place to own a freehold property. Nine line of drive, just two minutes from the motorway, two sets of lights. You'll be home faster after work, and you want to be when you own this house. You can walk to local primary schools, you can drop the bunnies on the weekend, and it's one of the few streets in Glenfield and Westlake Zone. Very sought after school area, and this makes this a very affordable property for anybody looking for that sought after Westlake school. And what a property to own. It's a 1960s classic. You all know it. Weatherboard on brick, concrete tile or roof. It's the kind of home we used to build. It's the kind of home we, sh we still should. Inside the home, three generous bedrooms, light full of living areas, 
big garage, storage for all the tools. But really, I think it's the outside of the property that has brought so many of you here today. 733 square metres of freehold land. There's space for backyard cricket, of course there is. But there's space for front yard cricket as well. Imagine the magnet this is going to be for neighbourhood kids. Two games of cricket going on at once. The backyard, the front yard. I foresee a veritable Indian Premier League of, uh, of neighbourhood cricket in this property. And just like the Indian Premier, Premier League, I foresee some competition here today for this, to buy this beautiful house. Unlike the IPL, you're being on the same terms. There's no hidden information, <laughs> no fear or favour. Mm -hmm. My vendor, Mr. Hughes, <laughs> has assured me of that. <laughs> I've said enough. It's your turn to speak. He'll start me away. Call out an opening bid. Start me where you will. 500,000. 500,000. Thank you for your bid. Great to have you here. 500 I am bid, and straight away we are into it. $500,000 for this beautiful property. Do I see an advance from there? Anybody in, the in, anybody in the room today to buy this property? 20. 20, 520. We can move in 20s from there. Thank you for your bid. Welcome along. 520, I am bid against you now, sir. Coming back in at 520. 540, thank you. 540, I am bid against you now, sir. 540, I am bid. Anybody else? Call a number if you like. Move in 20s. Move straight to 600. Any, any bids at 520? 600? No, 560. 560. We can, we can move in 20s, no problem at all. 560, thank you for your bid. A two horse race at the moment. Are there more competitors here today? 560, against you now, sir. Any further bid? At 560. Any further bids at 560? First call. Surely at this price, anybody in the room could put up their hand. A bargain. 560, second call. At 560, third and final call. I think you won't be surprised when I tell you I can't sell to you at this price. However, I can assure you my vendor is very serious about selling today. So on their, on their behalf, I'll make a bid. A vendor bid now of 580. So 580 the bid is with me. I'll leave you the chance here first 600. 10. 10, or even 10 will do. So 590. Moving on at 590 the bid. 590,000. Yep. 600, thank you for the bid. Always be first to run number, that's my advice. Very smart bidding and welcome to the race, sir. At 610, a 10,000 bid, thank you. Serious competition here today, guys. Three horse race, and may I say I'm not surprised. Not for this property. 610 the bid, and 620 straight back, thank you. 620 against you now. This man is leading the way. Who, who will follow? Do I see an increase on 620? Five. 5,625, thank you for your bid. At 625, is that a bid or scratching your head? Scratching your head. Okay, and 630, thank you for your bid, 630. We are getting into the really serious buying territory now. Someone here today is going to own this property. Will it be you? At 6.30, 6.30, the bid to my right. Can you confirm the bid 6.30? Yeah. Do I see an increase in 6.30? Going once. At 6.30. I'm sorry. First call at 6.30. Surely, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the value of this, of this property here today. Second call at 6.30. I don't need me now, you've been here all the way. Third and final call at 6.30. Five. Just in time with a bit of five, 6.35. Don't leave it too late. Any bits, any bits after the hammer or fall might be counted. 6.35 we have. Do I see an increase on 6.35? Bit is with me. 6.35, any increase on 6.35? We're travelling well. Three of you in it. The rest of the room, feel free to join in if you, if you see the need. 6.35, you can see that you're here. Sir in the middle, can I see an increase? I'll take a one if that helps. At 6.35, was that a one? 6.35, to my left, in the front row. Any increase on 6.35? Can we move the fives from here? We'll call it number if you like, 6.50. Silence is golden, we're not at an auction. Then 6.35, with a gentleman to my left, going once. Sorry. First call. Second call to my left at 6.35. Third and final call at 6.35. 6.40, thank you for your bid. Against you now, sir, at 6.40. Any increase on 6.40? Would it happen if I tell you we're on the market and selling? This property is... 
He's trumped you, sir, with 6.41. Are we back in the properties in the market? 6.42. We can move in thousands from here at 6.42. On the market and selling. And 6.43, 1,000 bid. 6.43 to my right. Can I see an increase? This is not the time to hold back. This is the time to hold firm at 6.43. Who will raise me from there? Call out your bid. 6.45, 1,000, 500, 1,000. 6.44, thank you for your bid. Bid now in the centre of the room Five. against you. 5,000. Thank you. 6.49, thank you for your bid. Bid now to my left with you, sir. Against you, sir. Against you, sir. This man is holding the property. Can you wow. punch it out of his hands? 1,650. Thank you for your bid. Now against you, sir, at 650. 650, I am bid. We are on the market. The property is selling here today. We don't have a second one to sell. This is the time to talk. This is the time to raise your hand at 650. At 650, going once. At 650, going twice. I want to take a late bid. At 650, third and final time, we are sold. Congratulations to my successful bidder. Thank you to the bidders for your support today and to the uh, neighbors and agents in the room. Thank you.